Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each Tuesday and Thursday, a staff member or volunteer will be sharing an object from the museum's permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back each week for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Erin Carmichael, and I am the coordinator of the Rosenthal Education Center. Today, I will be sharing works from Japanese-born, Canadian-based artist, Matsubaro Naoko. Matsubaro Naoko was born in Tokushima Prefecture, Shikoku, in 1937. She was the daughter to a Shinto priest who eventually became the chief priest of the Kenkun Jinja Kyoto, a shrine that would later make appearances in many of her prints. In 1941, Matsubara and her family moved to Kyoto, Japan, where she would grow up and later attend the Kyoto Academy of Fine Arts studying design. While attending the academy, Matsubara was introduced to printmaking by her professor, Munakada Shiko, who insisted that students apply their tools directly to the block rather than starting with a sketch. Chiseling into the wood block became a hallmark for her work. In 1960, Matsubara graduated from Kyoto and then moved to the United States to pursue an MFA in the School of Fine Arts at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on a Fulbright travel grant. By 1965, Matsubara had done extensive traveling and would return to the United States to work as a personal assistant to the late professor Fritz Eichenberg, a world-renowned wood engraving artist, educator, and historian of printmaking. She would later teach at a variety of colleges before moving to Cambridge, Massachusetts as a freelance artist. In 1972, she finally moved to Canada following her marriage to scholar and professor David Waterhouse. From there, she settled down in Oakville, Ontario and established her studio. Today, Matsubara is extremely active as an artist of single sheet woodcuts, paintings, and murals. She explores the possibilities of expression in many different ways. In her work, she uses different kinds of wood, tools, inks, and handmade washi paper from Japan. Matsubara seeks to capture the soul of a subject in the simplest of forms using figurative and abstract expression. Matsubara embraced freedom of expression in a way that created a fluid dance across her prints. Her artistic dance manifested itself in numerous ways and, and led her to challenge herself beyond the traditional boundaries of woodcut. Matsubara has created many prints inspired by dance over the years. Here at the Cincinnati Art Museum, we are lucky enough to have a handful of them in our collection. The Persian, Korean, and Indian dancer prints featured embody the organic movements that Matsubara aims to express in her prints. Notice how graceful and free-flowing the figures are in each print. Each of these prints show a different performer wearing a costume unique to her culture and dance style. Matsubara once said, I'd like to dance when I am cutting into the wood box images of the dancers. I feel that I am doing the gesture myself. What makes you want to dance? How does dancing make you feel? Thank you for joining me today for Cam Look. And be sure to check on our YouTube channel for past cam looks. We'll see you next time.